Hello lovelies, it's Stinka. Welcome to Stinka Style. I'm mobile. I wanted to talk about some monthly favorites. If you want to check out this makeup, you can't because I don't have a tutorial. But if you want me to have one, I will. This is my smoky eye. I wish I had recorded it. And this hair I just recorded from a little easy, easy cute hairstyles. They're kind of more for the longer hair type. I can always do some for not so long hair too. Uh, so just let me know. So monthly favorites, I don't have a ton, but the ones I do have, I'm pretty passionate about. So if y'all watched my very first video, the getting ready with me, and some people didn't understand the acronym, I just did the G-R-W-M, and I thought everybody knew what that was, but apparently not, so that's what that means, get ready with me in case you were wondering. Anyways, in that video, I was talking about how I was in a blush crisis and that I couldn't find any brush, brushes, blushes that I liked. I did find some and I just want to show them to you. The first one is this Too Faced. It is Sparkling Bellini. Look how pretty that is on the inside. You got three different colors that you kind of just all mix together, or at least that's how I do it. And uh, that's what I have on right now. Of course, I've got some uh, bronzing contour, but then I do have this sparking, sparkling Bellini over it, and of course I have some highlight. Uh, but let me go ahead and swatch it. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all three colors together. So nothing too crazy. I do have a problem with putting on blush too dark, so this does help me not put it on so dark it's pretty sparkly but not ridiculous like a highlighter and not too dark so i really like that hope you can see that do another one the same one it's very lovely i have another blush that i picked up from Too Faced called love flush i hadn't taken it out of the box yet because i fell in love with the sparkling bellini so much that um, I didn't move on to this one yet. It is still very pinky, but that is always kind of what I am drawn to in blushes. I think I might save this one for winter because I think it's just a little bit more of a winter color, if, if there's going to be a winter color, and really probably not. No, it's not. It's so <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But see, it's much darker, so if I'm going for a more dramatic look, I would use this one so these are the two very different from each other but I like both of them they're both very pretty colors and since I told you I was in a blush crisis wanted to let you know that the crisis has been averted and I'm moving on with my life uh, let's see what else oh I have y'all seen the uh, I just saw a brief little snippet on Facebook about using Pepto-Bismol to tighten your pores and the little video I watched, I mean, it looked unreal. I was just like, there's just no way that it totally smooths out your nose and closes up all your pores. So I didn't try it on myself, but I did try it on my niece. At first I thought it was just for the nose, and then I did see some where it was all over. And so I went ahead and did the whole mask on my niece and let her sit there for about 15 minutes or so. And when we went to take it off, her skin was pink. Now she can have very sensitive skin at times and she's pretty pale, um, but I was shocked. I thought I had permanently disfigured her and just made her whole face pink, but sure enough by the next day, luckily it came off because I felt so bad. But I haven't tried it on myself yet. Uh, but on her, I mean, her nose looked amazing. It literally did what it said it was gonna do. It just looked like she had a brand new nose. No pores, everything was closed up. It was amazing. So if y'all wanna see me do a little quick tutorial on that to show you my results, I certainly will, because that's what I'm here for. Uh, also, I am very happy to talk about Chocolazo. 
It is a chocolate company that a friend of mine started and I'm so happy for her. They started out with a food truck, so you might have already tried it here in San Antonio. And she just uh, set up a brick and mortar location and that's at 4013 Broadway Street, 78209. Went to her grand opening and I was just amazing. It's the cutest little shop, so posh, but when you see a really posh store like that, you automatically assume that the prices are going to be outrageous uh, and they weren't the prices for the um, you know the big single or really it's bigger than a single serving of uh, some of the cakes and pastries were you know five to seven dollars that's what you pay at a restaurant for crappy cake and so it was a great value and such a lovely setup and um, this box was full of truffles can't really show them to you because they have been eaten. Let me take the dirty things out of here. But what was in here was there was a lemon and the lemon was so good. And it was probably one of the more basic of the flavors, but certainly not basic in taste. There was a, I think it was a macchiato one. Once you bite in, it had like an espresso shot it tastes like and some caramel, it was amazing. Um, there was a German chocolate and bacon one. That was good. Um, what else did I try? Maybe she had some dark chocolate. There were several flavors. The one that I thought was gonna be the most basic was the sea salt caramel turtle. And I was like, oh, a turtle, a turtle. I, that one ended up being my favorite one. Oh man, it was just so good. I almost felt like I should have gotten a whole box of that. And so I will be back with her soon um, to try out some more things. I also tried out her, these are not the right names because I can't remember what they were, but basically one was like an inside out eclair. Looked amazing, tasted amazing all the best parts of the eclair, which are the custard, I think it's custard that's on the inside. Amazing, so good. And we tried her um, carrot cake, which had like, um, it was like a carrot cake cheesecake with like white chocolate. And it was even had a little squirter in it, a jalapeno jelly maybe, um, that you could add in there for a little bit of spice and to, to switch it up a bit. And I think I got her Nutella pie, I got all the stuff. Every, everything tastes like dreams come true. I'm so happy for her. She's been in the insurance industry for a long time and decided to branch out and do something that she could really love. And she found it and she is just rocking it. So, so proud of you, Mary. And love, love your desserts. And I'll be back soon for more. Also, just a couple of podcasts and Facebook groups that I just wanted to mention. The podcasts I've been listening to um, have been suggested to me by friends, so obviously the friends who have suggested it to me, this will not be news to you. It make, what is it? My Favorite Murder and two funny comedian gals uh, basically talk about murders. Uh, serial killers most often. That stuff has always intrigued me and um, I find it fascinating. It is a little too scary to listen to at night. It's not like they're trying to be scary, but then your mind really, you know, can go wonky at night. So you, uh, I wouldn't suggest listening to it at night. It has made me more aware of the potential entry points of my home. So I will uh, be beefing up my security uh, due to this uh, podcast. And again, that's called My Favorite Murder. Also, um, my friend Sheila mentioned to me about the Sleep With Me podcast. Um, I do have insomnia from time to time. I have a very hard time sleeping um, when I'm supposed to be. I, uh, it's very difficult for me. I've tried many things and my mind just will not shut down. So the Sleep With Me podcast is great because basically it's the most boring dude on the planet telling you stories that go nowhere. He's basically like a super boring professor and puts you right to sleep. Every time I think it's not gonna work, it works. I was like, oh, what is he trying? And I'm out. And I was like, oh, this is so boring. And then I'm out. 
So it does not take long at all. So if you have trouble sleeping, try that. Thank you so much for the suggestion, Sheila. And there was another one. Oh, my dad wrote a um, word that starts with a P in case uh, children are watching. But yes, uh, just type in my dad wrote and it'll come up. And um, so if you're over 18, you might want to listen to that one. If you're looking for a new podcast, uh, there you go. Uh, if you have any podcasts that y'all would like to suggest to me, I really do like and prefer the funny ones. There's also Professor Blastoff, which I was also suggested by a friend, but I've done since and listened to all of those, so I've moved on, but that's another good one too. The last thing is the Facebook groups that I'm in as far as makeup is concerned. I have Lips and Lashes, Slay With Us, Beauty Babes, and I think that's all. I feel like there's one more. Oh, and Makeup Addicts. Those are the Facebook groups that I'm in. Um, I find them very helpful. If I'm doing something with my makeup and it just is off and I can't tell why, because sometimes I do have a hard time identifying problems on my own face. Somebody else's face, no problem. I can tell you, oh, your eyebrows are way too close together or bring this up. I have no problem doing it <laughs> uh, for somebody else, but really hard doing it on myself, which is terrible, um, but probably completely normal. And so sometimes I'll post things in those group and ask for opinions and they're all lovely ladies. I mean, sometimes I'll see comments that like, please no mean comments. I've never received a mean comment, so I hope that that is not the case and that that, that doesn't happen a lot. So I post things in there. Sometimes, I think it's in the makeup attic ones, they will sell you know new makeup for cheaper. I don't know if they like work at Ulta or Sephora where they just get tons of extras or if they're dumpster diving or what, but um, I've never bought anything off of there. But I know somebody who has and they had a good experience. And so they're just good groups to, you know, bounce things off of each other and have positive women, um, you know, give you feedback. So I think they're wonderful. And if you have any other beauty groups that you're a part of and if you'll let me know or want to add me, I'm all for that. So that's pretty much it for my August favorites. I want to keep cranking out videos. I need some more suggestions. And so please, if you have a suggestion, just let me know. I would be so thankful because it lets me know that you're watching and that you care. I hope inform this information was helpful in the slightest. And if you have any questions, just let me know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. If you want to come on the show, please let me know. I would love to have you over. Thank you so much for coming to Stinka Style.